Hello and welcome to another video from the events calendar. My name is James and today we are going to be talking about a service that the events calendar offers called Promoter. Uh, now the difference between Promoter and some of the other products that we've talked about in these videos is that Promoter is not a WordPress plugin, it's actually a service. Um, and we'll get into that here in this video. But basically what Promoter does is it allows you to create custom email marketing campaigns for your events. So Promoter does require that you have the events calendar, which is free and event tickets, which is free. Now, of course, we would love for you to check out our pro versions of those two plugins. But for the purposes of this video and to use Promoter, uh, we will only need to use the free version. So let's go ahead and jump into a fresh WordPress install and check it out. OK, so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to purchase a Promoter license. So you can do that. Uh, by going to the events calendar.com and products tab and then click on promote and from here you can choose if you just want promoter sometimes we have a marketing bundle that you can take advantage of get a little savings there comes with a few other premium plugins uh, but once you've purchased your promoter license you should see under my account downloads and licenses you should see promoter and yep There'll be a license key and then it'll be a link here that you can go to promote and we'll do that here in a minute. But first, we're going to copy this license key and we're going to hop on over to our website. And if we have the events calendar and event tickets installed already, then we can just simply go to events settings and go to the licenses tab and then paste in our promoter license key. Scroll down and click save. OK. Now that we've done that, we can go back to the events calendar and go ahead and click on this link, go to Promoter. Now, like I said before, Promoter is not a plugin that we're going to download and install. Uh, it's a service. So uh, we can click on this to go to the Promoter service. And you probably want to just bookmark this. That way you don't have to you know, log into your events calendar account every time you want to try to get to Promoter. Uh, it's just promoter.theeventscalendar.com. Pretty simple. Um, we're going to go ahead and paste our license in here. And then we are going to uh, fill out some information here, name and email address, and put in a password. And then it's going to have us select a website. And I have a couple here. This is uh, just a little test website um, that I use for testing purposes. And then this is our current test website that we're going to be using for this demo here. So I'm going to choose this website and click Sync Events. And we need to authorize Promoter. OK, so this is scheduled. And what this is going to do is it's going to take whatever events we have in our website and it's going to import them into promoters so that we can do things like promote our events to our attendees. So let's go ahead and click on my events up here. And you'll see there's one event here because off camera, I just created a very simple event. It's called promoter test. And then I added a ticket. I think it's a dollar. And I scheduled it for the 27th of October, which as I'm recording this is, I think, one day from now, maybe two days. I don't even know what day it is. But I created that event, and I'll go ahead and show it to you here in our uh, website. It's just a very basic event. It's called Promoter Test, October 27th. Um, here's a little description, and then there's a ticket for a dollar. Okay. And when I clicked that sync button before, it pulled this event into Promoter. Um, so let's go ahead and click on this and just see what we have here. So we have some tabs up here, messages, timeline, audiences, details, no messages yet. We can schedule a message. We can create a triggered message um, and we can create a campaign. So let's go ahead and click on trigger message. We're not going to look at every single feature of promoter in this video, but I do want to show you um, a little something just so you can kind of get an idea of what you can do with promoter. Um, so let's say I'm just calling this a test trigger. I'm not very creative if you haven't figured that out yet. Let's say ticket purchased. And you know what? Let's go ahead and actually try to be a little bit more creative. Um, thank you for your ticket purchase. Um, so what's going to happen is when they purchase a ticket to this event, then it's going to trigger something. The audience is the person who purchased the ticket. We're going to select a content shortcut here um, so we can put the details of the event in the email here or we can choose follow up um, or just blank so you can just kind of build it on your own and you have these merge tags over here merge tags is a pretty common industry-wide term that you will see when using things like email newsletter platforms um, which is essentially what this is um, this 
disclaimer, this will not replace a full blown newsletter app like MailChimp or Constant Contact or Active Campaign or something like that. But it is essentially what we're doing here. We're we're kind of creating a uh, an email campaign, and we have these merge tags, which are basically just sort of dynamic bits of content. So, for instance, the attendee first name. Now that's going to be different for every single attendee, right? So. Um, we can just click that, and what this will do is whenever it sends an email to a person, it's just going to pull in that person's name right there at where I put it in this email. So we can say something like, hello, and the first name, you know, thanks for purchasing, and then we could put in the ticket name. And again, I'm not super creative. I, you don't want to hire me to write your newsletter for you, but uh, I can at least show you how this app works. We're looking forward to seeing you at... Um, and then we'll click on event title and then on event date at event start time. So you can see how you can just build this, this sort of reusable template. You don't have to type in, you know, every single time you don't have to type in the person's name and the name of the event and the name of the ticket, the date, the time, all that stuff. You create this sort of template and then things will just automatically happen. Every time somebody purchases a ticket, it's going to automatically send this message to them and it's going to be catered to you know their name the ticket that they purchased the event that they're attending so on and so forth and then i think i have to give it a subject and then i could activate the trigger so really simple way to um, just sort of automate some stuff so your ticket purchasers will get a little bit of a custom you know personalized message when they purchase a ticket the other triggers up here are if they RSVP. So maybe you didn't create a ticket, you just created an RSVP. You can also trigger something if they RSVP that they're not going to an event. You can send them a little automatic email. And if once they check into your event, um, you can fire off an, an email to them when that happens. So really cool things you can do here um, with the, the triggering. And probably, if I had to guess, probably the most... Uh, used feature promoter is setting up these automatic trigger messages. Um, but then you can also come in and schedule some messages and create a campaign. And there's just a lot of really cool features. And again, I only had one event here because I only created one event in our test website. But, you know, if you had a whole bunch of events, they would all show up here. And so you can just set up all sorts of automatic messages and create all sorts of campaigns to promote your events, to drive more people to attend your events, you know, Fun fact, it's actually fairly common for people to purchase a ticket or RSVP that they're going and then not actually show up. And there's a lot of data that says, you know, if you maintain some form of constant contact with them, you know, you don't want to spam them, but if you just maintain contact with them, they're much more likely to actually attend your event and engage with whatever uh, event that you're putting on. So I think that's probably good for this video, guys. Like I said, I didn't show you everything. I highly encourage you to come in here and uh, check out the options under scheduled message, check out the options under create a campaign and just really have fun with this. And we will be leaving a couple links uh, in the description of this video so that you can get a little bit more details uh, of how promoter works. There's a couple knowledge base articles and, and a whole guide that we put together that just walks you through, you know, basically the whole app. So um, really useful. And then of course, if you have questions, you can always reach out to our support team and we'd be happy to uh, help you out. So thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you learned something and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.